Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms, and the 20 year wait is over. I have now officially seen Dumb and Dumber 2. We just got back from the theater watching it. Uh, went to the 8 o'clock premiere tonight, the first official showing to the public. And, uh, you know, the original film, oh my god, I, I have just adored the film ever since it first came out. And it's honestly my all-time favorite comedy. I've seen it. I can't even tell you how many times, and I still to this day laugh about it, and always, you know, or laugh at it, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I always wish they would have done a sequel to it, I just, I never thought it was going to happen, you know, after so many years went by, I just didn't think there was any chance, and then last year they announced that they were going to do a sequel, I was like, oh my god, it's really going to happen, and uh, ever since that first picture was released of uh, Lloyd and Harry together, uh, right around this time last year, I was just like, oh man, it is really happening. And, um, you know, th the plot of the movie, I guess you should say plot of the movie, uh, it's very similar to the first film. You know, it's a road trip movie. Uh, Lloyd is um, in a mental institution, and he's just playing a gag, as it shows on the trailer, uh, acting like he's out of it for 20 years. And uh, Harry shows up and is... is you know, gonna says he's gonna be there for the last time. He has to have a kidney transplant. Um, well, Lloyd, you know, obviously shows that he's uh, just been pulling a gag for all these years, and um, so so he leaves there. They they go and uh, they got to figure out what to do to save Harry's life to get him another kidney. And they find out that he did have a kid with Freda Felcher, which they talked about in the first film. So. The story, you know, the plot revolves around them finding Freda Felcher and then finding Harry's daughter and hopefully, uh, in turn, getting a kidney transplant for him to save his life. Uh, that's really all there is to the plot of the film. But really, something like this, do you really go for the plot? No, you don't. You go for the gags. You go for the funniness. You go for the stupidness. You go for the dumbass humor that Dumb and Dumber uh, will bring to you. And um, did the film deliver... Yes and no. Unfortunately, guys, I did not find this film to be very funny at all. Like, I felt that a majority of the jokes fell completely flat. A lot of them felt forced, and, I mean, it just, I, I don't know. It, it, I, it, at first, you know, I was giggling, I was laughing at certain things, and then I just got to a point where I'm like, man, it, it's just... It's about 15 years too late, I think, honestly, guys. Like, I just, I don't know. It, it just, so much of it just was, it, it wasn't even funny, you know. I mean, there, now, there are a few parts that did make me laugh. There are, you know, uh, but they are very few. I mean, I'm talking probably only two or three times in the whole movie where I genuinely laughed. You know, there was a few chuckles, a few ha-ha, <laughs> ha moments but there were so many moments in this film where they would crack a joke and you were supposed to laugh and I'm just looking at the screen like it sucks man it sucks that it was like that because I was really hoping for a film that I wasn't expecting it to beat the original no way but I was just expecting it to be funnier than this but it just seems like that magic is not there you know they they had they captured lightning in a bottle with the first film and that lightning is not there in this one. Now, there is charm. There is heart. Uh, you know, the characters of Lloyd and Harry do have a chemistry still. And that's what made the film still be worthwhile to see. Uh, but I do feel that the ma a majority of people are just not going to like this film at all and are going to be completely disappointed. I wouldn't say I was completely disappointed because, like I said, it still had that charm and heart, and it's still fun to see these guys on camera, but, man, I just did not think it was funny. Like, not even half as funny as the first film. A lot of the cleverness wasn't there, and um, I, I don't know. It, it just... Man, I just was hoping for more. I was hoping for at least a decent film. And it was decent, I guess, but it was barely decent. Just barely passable to me, to a hardcore fan that was willing to be very forgivable of this film. Um, you know, in the cast, you know, of course, Jim Carrey, Jeff Daniels. And you have Rob Riggle. Uh, he's like the main 
uh, villain in this, and Lori Holden, which most people probably know from The Walking Dead and The Mist. Uh, and then you've got Rachel Melvin, which plays Harry's daughter. Um, and Kathleen Turner, which plays Freda Felcher. And <laughs> she, she's got a few funny parts in it. Uh, Bill Murray was in this. Wow, that's a that's a small cameo. Um, and I'm not even going to say what the what the character is. I had no clue, and you would never know unless uh, I said that. Um, uh, Brady Blum returns as Billy from 4C, the Blind Kid. A uh, few few funny parts there. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's quite a few other people. That's the most notable people from this. Um, but yeah, guys, it's um, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I really do feel the majority of people are just not going to like this film at all. Uh, I will say, um, stay until after the credits. Uh, we were the only two in the theater that stayed. I mean, the theater was less than half full. Uh, but stay until the very end. And I mean, the credits are long. I mean, they go on and on and on. But stay until the very end. Because when they first start, they're showing flashbacks from the movie, flashbacks from the first movie. And then it just cuts to regular credits. But after that, after all the credits roll, there is a scene that fans of this film, fans of the first film, are going to want to see. It's quick, but it is awesome. And it's also a hint of possible things, possible to come in the future. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, but guys, Dumb and Dumber 2, I'm going to give it a generous 6 out of 10. Uh, probably should have rated it lower than that, but like I said, hardcore fan, first film sits a, sits in my heart in a very special spot, so I have to be a little bit more generous with the film. Will I watch it again? Yeah, I'll watch it again. Like I said, seeing these guys on screen are awesome. It's fun. Even if it doesn't have that magic whatsoever that the first film had, it, you know, I, I, I still, you know, it, we'll definitely watch it again. So yeah, Dumb and Dumber 2 is out now. Um, the wide official release is tomorrow and Friday. So, uh, you know, check it out. See what you think. And if you do see it, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I just, I don't think it's going to be uh, very good feedback on this film, but we shall see. Uh, I hope, I certainly hope it does well. I hope, you know, I'm in the minority but I don't think I'm going to be. <laughs> so that's it for now, guys. Um, take care, and I will talk to you soon. Later.